Hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another full review and test drive. In today's video we have the new MG4. This particular model is in comfort trim pack, so it's a mid-spec model with a larger 64 kilowatt hour battery. Big thanks to Grand Auto and their MG dealership for making this video possible. I will put all their info in the description below. Hello and welcome back. Like I said in the very beginning, in today's full review and test drive, new MG4 with a mid-spec comfort uh, trim and a larger 64 kilowatt hour uh, battery pack. There is also a, a standard version with a, uh, I think, 51 kilowatt hour uh, battery pack. This one is larger. Uh, you can choose this uh, comfort trim with either that smaller battery or like in this case, uh, the larger one. Top of the line is the luxury model or trophy in some other markets. One detail over there, if you can see, there is a brand new, the most powerful MG4 model uh, X Power. I hope that I will review that particular model also in the future months. But for today, let's focus on this particular model. There are some uh, key changes uh, between this uh, Comfort and the luxury model. We will go through all exterior and interior details and I will go for a short drive. For the very beginning, let's start with the exterior walk around. Here are some uh, main differences between uh, this particular uh, Comfort and the luxury model. Luxury, you will probably know that there are some LED turn signals in this lower part where on this uh, particular Comfort model you have halogen standard uh, LED, uh, sorry, uh, turn signals in the headlights. A lot of interesting details here at the front end. Headlights are LED technology, big MG logo in the center and the radar in the lowest part. Uh, there are three main design details of this front end uh, which I'm a big fan. First thing first, this lowest part which looks really aggressive and sporty, similar like that. The headlights design is very sleek and narrow and this is a very interesting uh, some type of U-shape of a bonnet. Let's quickly check the passenger side profile. No matter which model you go for with the MG4 lineup, uh, you will always get a 17 inch uh, wheels with this rather interesting uh, two-tone design. Uh, on this model, we also have the keyless go system, as you can see now, and the tinted rear windows, which is always a handy and useful solution, especially in the summer months. Now, moving here at the rear end, there is another key uh, difference in design between this Comfort and the Luxury model. Luxury will get some type of uh, rear spoiler and the rear lights are a little bit different. Moving at the rear end on a passenger side, MG4 electric detail and on a lowest part, we have uh, rear parking uh, sensors. One uh, cool uh, design feature is, I don't know how much you can see because of this livery, but there is some type of interesting uh, design feature here at the last three quarters and the charging port is here on a driver's side. Close part on a doors and this uh, side skirt is uh, finished in some type of uh, robust plastic material. This is very handy, especially if you live in urban areas so you will not get damaged uh, your paint. So this is a quick overview of the exterior design, uh, this new MG4 in Comfort uh, trim. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this exterior design. Would you maybe change something or would you maybe even go uh, for another exterior color? Now we will check the practicality test because this is a family friendly a small hatchback but it needs to accommodate some occupants and some luggage. So the official number of a boot space is around 383 liters. Couple of interesting details and useful uh, features. You have this uh, plastic protective part over here if you need to slide some heavier and larger items so you will not uh, scratch your paint. Also this rear bumper is not too wide so there is no problem uh, to put some uh, larger and heavier items. Shopping bag hook on a passenger side, LED light on a driver's side, all this is covered in some type of uh, textile material. Some useful extra storage and the nets on a uh, far right and this is your some type of uh, luggage with a nice MG logo which 
you can store your cables overall nice square shape for a young and small family i don't think there will be any issues putting a rear doors this is the door opening angle as you can see it's a pretty wide so i don't think there will be any issues uh, to get in and out all this uh, design is uh, dark gray or even black with some we have some type of a luxury detail over here with that uh, piano black in the center part where you will put your elbow there is some type of soft leathery material with extra storage and nice uh, bluish stitching with let's say half a little bottles can be easily fit uh, in these door pockets these are the rear seats classic fabric material but very nice in design with more of that uh, blue stitching and from the first glance these are these are uh, pretty comfort seats with isofix anchor points on each side if you go for let's say luxury model or, tr or trophy model in some markets you will have leather seats come from a rear seats of a mg4 couple of useful uh, details uh, usb charging port on a center console with extra storage i put this driver seat for let's say my uh, ideal uh, sitting position this is my uh, knee room and my foot room and as you can see now the door opening angle no problem for me if you need to carry let's say two adults of my size i'm about 184 centimeters no problem uh, the one uh, interesting and very cool detail is uh, mg4 has a black roof lining i'm a huge fan of that so uh, if you like also a black roof lining this is something that you will definitely appreciate but now let's check the passenger front seat opening the passenger front door similar door design and materials like in the rear but a little bit larger uh, door pockets now you can see these front seats similar like in the back fabric material with that uh, blue stitching and relatively adequate side support i don't think there will be any issues now let's climb inside and this is the view out all of interesting details you sit uh, relatively normal like in the uh, normal hatchback you don't uh, feel that you are in some type of uh, let's say crossover uh, piano black details all around this uh, center console with a nice uh, sleek air vents to open a glove box there is a one button and you have also led light in the glove box which is really some premium detail couple of uh, cup holders in the lowest part extra storage over here with some type of net and center armrest in leather you can open it and it reveals extra storage but the most interesting part on this mg4 is this uh, center and the uh, infotainment system this is your um, gear knob or gear selector uh, to be precise you don't have any on and off uh, buttons uh, you have key with yourself you just press it uh, in drive and you are good to go if you wanna let's say go out you just put it in park the handbrake is on and that is it you can uh, place your phone over here this is the center infotainment system so let's talk a little bit about it you can see we have some type of uh, useful car stuff over here like driving mg pilot the one thing i forgot to mention this is uh, this car uh, gained a five star on the euro ncap uh, crash test which is uh, very useful of course if you're planning this as a family vehicle this is the home option where you can see all your stuff for the vehicle for the battery and so a couple of information on a battery status and the electric motor this is a single motor version a rear wheel drive and with estimated range according to wltp of around uh, 450 kilometers depending on where you live and of course uh, the uh, weather conditions uh, another useful feature is that you can plug it and charge it on the dc charges of around 150 kilowatts now let's uh, check the driver's seat and shortly we will go for a test drive from a uh, driver's seat of this mg4 let's talk a little bit about this steering wheel which actually is not even the wheel because this is flat bottom and flat at the top uh, two spoke uh, interesting design with this uh, piano black details all the buttons over here are physical so i don't think there will be any issues uh, with uh, with uh, usability also this is a nice small crisp in design 
uh, digital screen with a center infotainment system uh, also the center infotainment system is on the ideal position if you're driving like this the visibility is actually excellent uh, even though this is a pretty small uh, vehicle you have tinted rear windows and this black roof lining the overall um, experience is very nice and you don't feel claustrophobic so if you are looking uh, for this particular mg4 as a let's say family vehicle uh, thumbs up and definitely uh, check it out now let's go for a short test drive welcome from my driving impressions on this mg4 as you can see i'm sitting here on a parking lot but i did some uh, short uh, test drive we will go also and check it in a video in a couple of seconds couple of uh, feedbacks on this uh, short draw, uh, drive this is my first uh, ev that i'm driving and i'm super excited i have to say the driving impression is from the future if you haven't already drive uh, ev i highly recommend uh, go ahead and try it especially if you can go with this uh, mg4 couple of interesting details the seats are really nice soft and uh, nice in this side support also for my uh, height i'm about 184 centimeters this center armrest and this over here is on the ideal position uh, when you go and put it in a drive you just release the brake pedal and the car moves about I will show you that a little bit later the brake pedal feel is excellent sometimes with the hybrids or the plug-in hybrids uh, the brake pedal feel is very harsh and when you press it just a little bit it uh, jerks so this is really nice and easy to use now we'll go for a drive as you can see we have the the rear parking sensors and i'm just touching the brake and the car moves and as you can see and hear you don't hear absolutely nothing put it in drive and we go but that instant torque and that uh, uh, that is everything is so quiet and you don't have the gearbox that always changes the gears this is something revolutionary for me and if you haven't already uh, drive uh, ev go ahead please test it you will be amazed uh, how how the future will actually uh, look like uh, if you really want to uh leather seats and you want a heat pump and you want a led turn signals and some other upgraded uh, sound system uh, then you can get the uh, luxury or a trophy model but for let's say 90 percent of people this comfort model would be uh, more than enough now as you can see this is a one one pedal drive i don't press anything and the car is slowing down I'm not sure that it will slow down to a full stop but on this now we saw on maybe five or six kilometers now i'm i'm not even touching this uh, throttle is uh, so much of a power and torque with these evs it's just amazing person let's go back here at the mg dealership one one pedal drive everything here is with a one pedal absolutely stunning uh, driving experience and now you can see over here the absolutely new the most powerful mg4 x power uh, i hope that i will review also this uh, mg x power in future months this is the end of my full review and test drive of a new mg4 let me know in the comment section what you think about this uh, new mg model would you maybe change something would you go maybe even for a top of the line luxury model big thanks to grand auto and mg dealership for making this video possible i will put all their info in the description below and thank you so much for watching this video and wish you all a very nice day